MTN Group Limited, formerly MCEL, is a South African multinational mobile telecommunication company operating in many African and Asian countries. Its head office is in Johannesburg. Yes, Johannesburg, the city of gold. As of 2020, December, MTN recorded 280 million subscribers. Yes, 280 million subscribers, making it the eighth largest mobile network operator in the world and the largest in Africa. MTN is active in over 20 plus countries. One third of its company revenue comes from Nigeria. Yes, Nigeria, where it holds about 35% market share. MTN Group is the primary sponsor of the South African National Rugby Union team and sponsors English football club Manchester United FC. MTN was founded in 1994 as MCEL with assistance from the South African government in 1995. In 2002, Phantom Leco became the CEO, replacing then CEO Paul Edwards, who had invested in expansion to Nigeria. MTN competitors in South Africa include Vodacom, Selksi, and Telcom Mobile. In June 2008, MTN Group agreed to purchase Verizon Business South Africa, which was a provider of data service to customers in South Africa and four other African countries. The acquisition was completed on 28 February 2008. And nine. On 26 June 2009, MTN Group subsidiary merged with Borgacom International Center Services BICS, a subsidiary of Bell Gacom. The combined subsidiary function as the international gateway for career services of MTN. In October 2012, MTN announced a partnership with AfriHost to provide DSL broadband services in Africa. In November 2012, South African holding company Shaduga Group required a minority stake in MTN Group's Nigeria business for $335 million. MTN uses several technologies. MTN South Africa provides GSM, UMTS, HSP+, HSUPA, VOIP, 3G, 4G, Light, and 5G services. On 1st December 2011, MTN became the second cellular provider to introduce 4G and LTE in South Africa. They were also the first network operator in South Africa to launch a live public 5G network available in Johannesburg, the city of gold, and Cape Town on 30th June 2020. Now, let's move to the rare ish. MTN Group was handed down a 5.2 billion US dollars fine by the federal government of Nigeria through the Nigerian Communications Commission NCC. The commission exercised a section 20 of the Telephone Subscribers Regulation TSR law on MTN for not meeting the deadline set up by the mobile network operators MNOS for disconnecting the subscribers identification model SIM with improper registration. The compliance audit carried out by the NCC on MTN network revealed on registered 5.2 million customers line on the activator. This led to the NCC fining MTN with a sum of $1,000 for each on registered SIM, which amounted to 5.2 billion US dollars. What followed was major resignation among the top Ashilion of the organization, including the chief executive officer, Safin Sudabinwa, the head of Nigerian operation, Michael Ipoki, and the head of corporate affairs, Akinwele Goodluck, being replaced with Phantom Nereku, Fedi Morman, and Amina Ajibola as new chairman, managing director and head of corporate and regulation respectively. The new management employed a diplomatic measure between the government of the Republic of South Africa and its Nigerian counterpart to ameliorate the burden of liabilities from the firm. This action brought about a reduction of the liability to 3.2 billion US dollars. The registration of the SIM card started in the year 2010. The initial phase of this project was handled by the mobile network operators MNOs. However, NCC took over these operations because the service providers could not meet up with a six-month mark by NCC. The 
The registration by NCC started in March 2011 and was anchored by seven consultants. And these are the major activities that led to the penalty. In 2010, the Nigerian government through the National Security Advisor, other security agencies and the NCC initiated that all SIM cards across all mobile networks in the country should be registered. The primary objective of this project is to reduce the security challenges facing the country by criminals using mobile phones to perpetuate kidnapping, robbery and other criminal activities. These services is in line with Section 20 of Registration of Telephone Subscriber Regulation TSR 211, which states that any line CC who activates or fails to deactivate a subscription medium in violation of any provision of this regulation is liable to a penalty of 200,000 Naira for each unregistered but activated subscription medium. In 2011, following the regulation, the NCC directed all MNOs to deactivate newly registered lines that remain inactive for 48 hours after registration. In August 2015, NCC and securities agencies carried out a compliance audit on all of the MNO's networks. Contrary to the TSR, the audit revealed 5.2 million subscribers' lines in MTN were improperly registered. Sahara reporters claimed that the NCC and securities agencies informed the public during a press conference held on 18th August 2015 that the expiration of the seven-day deactivation deadline ends on 11 August 2015. At this point, a sub to this channel will be very spectacular. MTN failed to fully deactivate any subscribers and following repeated warnings and compliance enforcement visit by the responsible authorities only made a partial attempt to bar unregistered subscribers in selected areas over a few days in September 2015. Other operators had fully complied and reconciled their deactivation with the invalid registration shared by the NCC up to four weeks earlier. The consequences of MTN refusal to comply with the directive is even more pronounced as half of all the invalid registration shared by the NCC belongs to MTN. letter addressed to NCC on 2nd November 2015, MTN admitted wrongdoing for their role of 5.2 million improper registered SIMs after the NCC deadline on the network and also pleaded for mercy. On February 2016, MTN announced the payment of $250 million as an advance payment towards a reduced settlement. This is where we are going to end today's episode. The Nigerian president spoke on MTN fine. MTN withdraw case suit against NCC in Nigeria. MTN finalized payment plan with NCC. These are other things that we couldn't talk about because of time. I'm going to end over here and I'm going to bring you the best of tech and news around the world. Kindly subscribe, share, and if you want to make any contribution, kindly do that in the comment below. My name is Bibi and thank you for watching Bibi Tech videos. Bye-bye.